didn't know you. it's the talking. I thought you were doing a voiceover. That's why I came in here. Sorry. Did you hear that? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. No, we can't let go. Cause when it's right, it's so right. Yeah, yeah we know we can't let go. Let's get this right. It's too much time we spend. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I did an Instagram poll the other day about what kind of video would you like to see from me next and as expected i i really saw this one coming i saw it, this one coming uh a bunch of people actually requested a work makeup routine so the earrings it's just it's just for the purpose of this video the jazzing up with the earrings really all you need to focus on is the makeup so i did a work foundation routine this is how i apply my makeup on every single morning on my way to work it takes me roughly about 10 to 15 minutes the longest time being spent on my brows to be honest that's it and for the purpose of this video as well i actually have eyelashes on i do not wear eyelash extensions or falsies when i go to work because it's not a real thing though it's not a real thing so if you would like to see how i achieved this look right here <laughs> please do keep watching okay so this is going to be how i do my makeup for when i go to work the thing is it is really really basic it's a little bit longer than the last time that i used to do makeup purely because uh the the weather is changing <laughs> i can't talk i haven't filmed in such a long time purely because the weather is changing so even my powder tends to move so because of that i've adopted using a uh, liquid foundation and just sort of techniques to make my makeup stay the same throughout the day so if you'd like to see how i do my makeup let's get started okay okay so the first thing that i normally do is i start out by putting some powder on my face especially in the areas this is the mac uh, mineralized skin finish in dark especially in the areas where there is a lot of fine lines i do that so that i can it's the you know it's the whole powdering before um applying the makeup on technique it's not really you know makeup 101 tells us that no we need to put liquid before powder but this actually works really really well uh sometimes when i feel like it's not enough there's not enough powder over um my smile lines i go in with this powder this is the black opal uh what's this true velvet finishing powder it's really really good so it's just really really messy so i go over that like so everywhere where i've got fine lines but for me it's just the smile lines that are a bit problematic then i started doing this technique and honestly it has worked it has worked fairly fairly well okay so i've just powdered this area here as you can see and then after that i move on to concealer so the two concealers that i use are from la girl obviously uh one in warm honey and one in fawn i basically mix the two and then the areas where i apply it is essentially i'll show you i'll show you girl the areas where i apply it because so i've started off with um fawn now i'm using warm honey which is uh slightly lighter Ooh, not too much girl um honey which is like a lot of girl and then i just blend it in and i'm using my event spray to just wet my real technique sponge no, i need some work i hate to see you hurt it's precious stress because i'm underpaid and overworked a nigga tries to find the words do you see how much of a mess i look like right now but I'm telling you, once the look comes together, tell me, do you guys wear eyelashes? <laughs> uh, falsies when you go to work. I just don't have time for that. I honestly just don't have time for that. And then I add my foundation. So for foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. The reason why I use this one is because it is matte. There's a particular reason why I use it. It's because it's matte. And literally, you can have matte foundations that do budge throughout the day. But this one is matte and it does not budge. And I put it right on those areas where I had the powder. I don't blend it. Blend it all in. And then I just take it all across over my face, jawline. 
Chin. Then up. The weather is changing. That's pretty much why I have my ring light on because the weather sun is going in and out the clouds and it's acting all bitchy right now. Okay. Just wipe down my hands because you know anybody get the time. Do I not look scary or what? Okay, so just wipe my hands. And then this is the part where I move very, very quickly because you don't want the lines to set in. Back to the powder. So then I put on a little bit of blush and the blush that I'm currently using is Sweet as Cocoa by MAC. Just dip my blush brush in there. Blush brush is from Carla. Mm -hmm. On the apples of my cheeks. I like it because it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. So even on the days where I don't feel like using any highlighter, this works really, really well. Done. And then on my eyes, I use this. This is the NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil in French Fries. I literally just put it across my eyes like this. It's like a brown color, but it's got a little bit of copper bronzeness about it. It's got a little bit of a shine. So when I go to work, I like to keep it very, very simple. And this is perfect. For I say things that I regret. You say things I won't forget. Why you cross the line? Pressing buttons, why? Take back all the things you did. You said it was innocent. Last time was ridiculous, but we know we can't let go. Then, of course, highlighter is life. It really is. Ain't nobody gonna lie to you about that. It is life. And for highlighter, I just use this brush, pointed foundation brush, but I use it for highlight. And I just swirl it on top there, just really as minimal as possible. I'm not trying to glow up from the flow up. I'm not. Finally, lips. And for lips, I am using, of course, Chestnut by MAC and this Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. And it is in number 64, which is unreal. off I'll be using sorry I'm talking to my sister saying things we can take back